Alrighty, folks, those are all the stories that we needed to cover for today. So let's head over to the NBA and crown our pick. Who do we think is going to win game three of the NBA finals, folks? So here we go. Let's get the line up to date. Let's get the ins and outs. And let's talk this through to make some money because we have been getting absolutely killed on our basketball picks here in the conference finals and the finals. But as you see right here, baby, Dustin Poirier, we had that picked right. So we're hitting a little bit of a streak, a little bit of a stride, and we're ready to keep that going with the NBA Finals tonight. So let's see what the official line is. Here we go. Suns, Bucks, game three in Milwaukee. Suns plus four and a half. Bucks minus four and a half. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting the spread to be this big. I think this is a pretty big spread. I thought it was going to be more like Bucks plus one, Bucks plus two, something like that. But we get Bucks minus four and a half. Real interesting out here. All right. Let's see the ins and outs here. Here we go for the Suns. We got Tory Craig a game time decision, and we know Dario Sharik is out with a torn ACL. And then for the Bucks, everybody's good to go. Just Dante DiVincenzo still out, like we know. So basically, everybody's good to go. Tory Craig just coming off the bench a couple of minutes out here. Still a good defensive piece, uh, but overall they don't really need him that much. Um, so what was working with the Suns in games one and two? Just their scoreability, folks. They put up 23s. They made 23s game two. And then just they're kind of great. Everybody can score. One through five can score. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, McCall Bridges, Jay Crowder can all score 10 plus points. Um, everybody. And then we got Cameron Payne off the bench, who's a great facilitator on the floor. I know, like we said, we love this man getting big minutes in these games. Um, it just doesn't always show up on the stat sheet. But he, when you watch the game, he makes an impact, folks. He truly does. Scoring, passing, getting the turnovers, absolutely just great all over the field. The hustle that this man plays with, we respect it 100%. And then we get Cam Johnson off the bench, a great scorer. We, he can give us 10 a night, no problems. So just the Suns' overall scoreability is what is truly kind of making them cross the finish line in some big wins. I mean, they're winning by 10-plus points every single game, games one and two at home. So absolutely great there. Now, what are the Bucks struggling with? Their other shooters. We can rely on Giannis. Giannis game one was great. Uh, was good. Let's say good. Um, like 20-something points. He was a plus one on the floor. But what our adjustment in game two needed to be for Giannis was be, to be more aggressive. And what did he do? 40 points. No problem. Great percentage. Great efficiency. Great rebounds. And he was, once again, plus on the floor. While everybody else was a minus in the starting roster. So, once again, Giannis is not the person we have trouble with out here. Giannis is not the one losing the games out here. Giannis Giannis is a superstar playing as a superstar in a high superstar needed competition in the NBA Finals. So Giannis is not the problem. What is the problem is the Batman, folks. The Batman. You want to know how I got these scars? I feel like I'm the Joker. Where's the Batman? Where's Batman? You know, I got to kidnap. Who do I got to kidnap for Chris Middleton to show up? Who, who's Chris Middleton's Catwoman? Let me kidnap her. So Chris Middleton must show up to the game because Batman's been missing, folks. Chris Middleton, a.k.a. Batman, has been missing the last two games. He's shooting like 28%. 28% in the finals? Can you get it together? Can you get it together, Chris? Please. Jeez. Giannis needs you. Robin, he needs you out here. The bad signal's going off. Look up. This man's too busy looking at the ground. Like, oh, uh, there's something I need to do today, isn't there? Hmm. Uh, I guess it's nothing. Uh, you know, he's looking left and right. Gotham is burning down to the ground. He's like, I, what is, I'm forgetting something. He's looking left. He's looking right. He's looking down. Never looking up. The bat signal is in the air. Right here. Flashing. Right here. Hey, everyone's screaming. Where's Batman? Batman, please save us. The Joker's here. The Penguin's here. Bane is here. Where, where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Chris? The, the Suns are all villains of Batman, folks, and they got five, six, seven deep, seven deep villains on that Suns team. And Chris Middleton's just wandering around. Hey, oh, there's something I got to do today. Just don't remember. And going about his day. And Giannis is there as Robin doing all he can, but we know that Robin doesn't do anything really. It's all Batman. Robin kind of teased it up a little bit. And Giannis is like, Fuck, man. I'm trying my best. I, I got rid of one. I got rid of the penguin. Knocked him out. I'm I'm decently working on uh, the Riddler over here. Jeez, I'm trying to get him out. 
But, you know, Robin can't take on seven villains by himself. Giannis can't take on this entire Suns team by himself. He needs Chris. Middleton, where are you? Look up. Find the signal. Please. So it's basically just Chris Middleton out here, folks. That's not getting it done. That's it. 28%. Awful per percentage. Not putting up 20 plus points. Same thing with Drew Holiday. Shooting absolutely abysmal out here. Trash. Absolute trash. So Giannis is doing everything he can. Brooke Lopez is, you know, only playing like 25 minutes. Having all right success. Nothing great. Nothing bad. He's their best three-point shooter, which is recipe for disaster. P.J. Tucker's in the starting lineup that doesn't score. Pat Connaughton had a good game from three, unfortunately. Didn't result in a win because nobody else could kind of consistently hit him, and they were just relying on Chris, uh, Pat Connaughton to just make three after three after three. So... We'll, we'll see what the Bucks do here now. The one silver lining for this Bucks team is that Chris Middleton usually shows up at home. That's usually where he's good at home games. He's good at the Deer Park, folks. So maybe we could buy Chris Middleton a little bit here. But what is really going to decide whether we take the Suns team or the Bucks is I want to see what the Suns were looking like on the road here. So let's look at uh, what the Suns have been doing on the road here in the playoffs because they are on the road here tonight. All right, here we go. On the road in the playoffs, here we go. So uh, here in the Lakers series, game one on the road, they lose by 14 points. That's bad. The first game in L.A. They end up winning the second one by eight. And then they win game six on the road, close out game by 13. So they stumbled the first game. Let's see who stumbled here statistically. Who didn't show up for the Suns on this first road game against the Lakers? All right, we had Devin Booker, 19 points on 31% shooting. Absolutely not great. DeAndre Ayton had 22 and 11. McCall Bridges had six points on 40% shooting. Jay Crowder had nine points. And Chris Paul had seven points on 37% shooting. So just nobody was really putting up the shots uh, for scoreability out here. And nobody really scoring. Now off the bench, we had Cameron Payne with 15 points. Real solid there. And Torrey Craig with 11. So just they didn't get their stars in the game. McCall Bridges wasn't scoring. Chris Paul wasn't scoring. All right, now let's see what was happening in this uh, Denver Nuggets series. They swept them in four, so they won both games on the road. Game three on the road, here we go, won a 116-102 14-point win, and then won game four on the road by seven, 125-128, so everybody's showing up there on the road for the Nuggets. Now, here we go against the Clippers, first game on the road. They lose. They lost the first game on the road here. Uh, let's see what they did. Devin Booker, 15 points on 23% shooting. Trash. Chris Paul, 15 points on 26% shooting. Very not good. He had 12 assists. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, 18 points. Love that. 18 and 9. Uh, Jay Crowder, 9 points on 50% from 3. Love seeing that. And then McCall Bridges, 13 points on 62%. So it was just Devin Booker and Chris Paul truly floundering, not putting up any points in abysmal shooting percentage. Once again, on the road the first time. And they lose big by 14. Oh, didn't mean to close that out. We can get that back up quickly, quickly. Here we go. All right, but then uh, game number two on the road, game four against the Clippers. They end up winning 84-80, close win there. And then they close out in game six on the road, winning 130-103, 27-point win, absolutely blow out. So a little bit, you know, of a flounder job on the road in the first games. Against the Lakers, they floundered. Against the Clippers, they floundered. In L.A., they don't know how to score the ball. Now they go to the Bucs here. Game three against the Bucs. And uh, first time on the road. So that's giving kind of credit to the Bucks minus four and a half. With Chris Middleton able to score the ball here a little bit more easily. With Drew Holiday able to score the ball a little bit more easily out here. Uh, Giannis, we don't have to worry about. Now, are we comfortable with swallowing four and a half as well? We saw the Suns just kind of getting blown out on the road game once out here. On the road, you know, losing by... 14 against the Clippers, game one on the road, and losing by 
14 on the road against the Lakers. So, you know, the Bucks minus four and a half is looking real good out here, but can we trust Chris Middleton? That's what it only comes down to. Can we trust Chris Middleton to make this a series? Do we see the Suns team overall just floundering? Because everybody's just been on their bullshit, folks. All one through five has just been absolutely on their bullshit with Cameron Payne and Cameron Johnson having great work off the bench. So, the Bucks they've screwed us these last two games. We've taken the points with them, letting us down, but now they're at home. How much weight do we put in the previous road game ones? They get it done in the other road games. Game four on the road, game six on the road, the Suns win it big. But game three on the road, the Suns flounder a little bit. Now, they took care of business against the Nuggets team on the road, but that was... When, you know, that Nuggets team was beat up. They didn't have, you know, Jamal Murray. They, you know, they just had, you know, Michael Porter Jr. with the back issues and Joe Kick, just the big. And that's what kind of this Bucks team is. They don't have Dante DiVincenzo. They use Drew Holiday, who's still solid. Drew Holiday is better than Facundo Capazzo, who was, you know, the Nuggets point guard. Uh, the Nuggets had Joe Kick. The Bucks have Giannis. But we need Chris Middleton to step up. We need him to step up big time. Ah, this one's tough, folks. Tr tough. Truly tough. That Suns, those Suns early series in Game 3 is giving me a little pause on taking it. I love the Suns plus 4.5. I think that's great. Give me the points. I can rely on them all. But they struggle on the road the first meeting. I can't trust Chris Middleton, though. I can't trust Chris Middleton. I can't. I can't bet. I cannot take my money and bet on Chris Middleton. I'm sorry, I can't. So for that reason, I'm taking the Suns plus four and a half. If Chris Middleton was just playing decent, that's all we needed him to do was just play decent in game one and game two. Then we could have taken the Bucks minus four because of the Suns flounder first game on the road in a playoff series. But because Chris Middleton is playing so bad and kind of Drew Holiday are playing so bad, I can't trust them at all. I don't care that the Suns kind of floundered a little bit on the road because Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday will as well, and it's going to cancel it out, and I'm going to just take the Suns' scoreability depth. I'm taking the Suns plus four and a half points tonight.